Back to North Gand. Oh, a cutscene. There's that music again. Homing pigeons. I see. Or a Calcum or not, Stormquell snapped like a twig. I'm afraid so. It was Inominat who did it. But I think Shigure could have done the same. So hardness to alone be isn't enough. Forgive me. I thought I had found clarity, but it was only foolish pride. You should be proud. You are without a doubt the greatest swordsmith in the world. I'm looking forward to your next blade. Even now, you would still place your trust in me. Of course. Is there any other swordsmith who could craft a blade out of Orichalcum? You're a master of your art. A visionary who spent centuries working to forge a blade of legend. I'm honored to know you. I don't know what to say. Unless, of course, you've given up on making the sword to surpass Storm Howl. <laughs> Does this look like the face of a man who's given up? Not in the least. <laughs> We're making good time. The only problem is that ceremony that Arturius was going on about. We don't know how long it'll take. Eifried said they called it the Ceremony of Suppression. Most likely, it's how Inominat plans to release his power. Most likely. He hasn't absorbed Lafayette in your despair, so Inominat should still be incomplete. But if his power is fully awakened... Humanity will be robbed of their free will! I can hear them celebrating now. The uglinesses of the human soul are suppressed! And the world is free of malevolence! Hurrah! Hurrah! Robbing humanity of its will. They'll be like I once was. Oh, something's coming! Uh oh A cutscene? Been a while since we had one of these. Let's not fight! <laughs> this is a domain? domain <sighs> their wills have been stolen it's not been fully sealed away yet Rokuro give him a good smacking wake him up on it Eisen got it we'll put in at the nearest harbor to Port Zexon Oh, we were so close to North Gan, too. Ah! Uh, I feel like some jerk played tug of war with my brain. 
dig up some spirit. They're trying to strip away your will. Oh no! Look! It's that merchant! You're all right! I do not deserve to be all right. I used people, stepped on them just to make a profit. I even aided wanted criminals so that I could expand my business. My soul is black with ugliness and can never be forgiven. Uh, no, wait! The world needs to be purified of malevolence. I don't belong here. I have to die. I have to die. I have to die. No! It's not right! Oh. You can die if you want. But saying you have to die is a good way to make my blood boil. Those awakened to their own malevolence seek to end their lives. Welcome to Artorias' uncompromising world of reason. First they steal humanity's rudder, and now they want to say who lives and who dies? We should find out what's happening here, unless you'd rather not see. You're right, I wouldn't. But I won't hide from the truth any longer. Before anything else, We'll need to confirm just how far his power reaches. Let's head to Logris. The opposite side of the world. You know me not suppression. Is this the ideal world the Abbey envisions? Bien! There's no life in anyone's eyes! This isn't a fun place at all! It's not just people's minds being shackled. They're being forced to die, too. It's terrible. Why would dying be part of anyone's ideal world? Even under such strict control, new sins can still rise to the surface. If that happens, it's better to end the life of the sinner. Melchior came to the same logical conclusion. What utter rubbish. Anyway, we need to get to Logris. So this is the result of their ceremony of suppression. Seems that way. They've brought their peace to mankind. What's going to happen to the world? How far will Anominat's power spread? When his domain expanded, I felt a faraway power suddenly come closer. It was enough to blot out the whole sky. I'm sure it's covered other towns too. His domain has certainly extended to at least the entire populace of this country. Otherwise, what would be the point? That means what happened at Port Zexen is happening... everywhere. Everyone is either a puppet, or... Dead by their own hands. Inominat created this ideal hell in a single moment. That's the power we're up against. So we few are standing against a truly monumental force. This is your last chance to turn back. Turn back to what, exactly? Forward or back, we're headed into hell either way. At least this way, I'll have my own free will. I'd prefer a living damnation to that oblivion. Well, don't come crying to me later. Let's move along, then. So, let's see what this is. I was a fool for trying to sell commemorative chalices to the people visiting the Empyrean's throne. Happiness can't be bought with ill-gotten gains made through deception. In an effort to change my malevolent ways, I sold my shop and entered the Holy Priesthood. Rather than pursue my own greed, I've chosen to dedicate my life to bringing the sacred teachings to all. Wow, look how shiny and pure he is. So this is what happens when Inominat suppresses all of someone's sins and desires. How nauseating. And this is the kind of world they're trying to create. Looks like it. Uh, it wasn't this way, it's this way. Hmm. Oh.
And somebody over here. Hey, you're Kakiku's menagerie. Ooh, close. It's Magilu's menagerie. I apologize for always demanding that you entertain me, despite my inability to even remember your name correctly. I'm also sorry to you, miss, for always insisting you do that tedious little bird impression of yours. I feel so bad I could just punch myself. Nay, I must. I'm not sure if I'm more angry or confused. It is wrong to seek pleasure from viewing petty tricks and pointless entertainment. Honest hard work alone is right. Someone such as I, who was unable to live in accordance to the simplest of truths, should disappear from this earth. Please, use that special trick you told me of. Make me disappear forever. Damn. First, I took nectar to escape all my hardships. And I drank to run from all my pain. Even if I resisted, endured the pain, nothing changed. I've spent my life running. I'm pathetic, but I won't run anymore. I'm disposing of all the drinks in town. What the world needs now isn't dependence, but freedom. And I'll see that we have it. Hey now, that's the kind of repentance that should only come the morning after a night of fun and too much drink. And if you're afraid of losing yourself, drinking is a far better option than falling under Enominot's control. Potato. Oh, let's sleep. Just... Just in case we get a little extra cutscene, which we doesn't look like we didn't. Oh. Amber is the color of my energy. Oh. So what do you do at the shop? You just... Buying, selling, dismantling, enhancing. I take every aspect of my business seriously. Is there anything we can dis... Yeah, why not? Anything we can enhance? Nope. I figured, but we just did it just a little while ago. Man. Already got that one. So even the exorcist. Hmm. Crazy. What the hell? Oh, okay. We just warped the logers. Oh, there's people here. Pets consume precious resources and grant no tangible benefit to society. That's why what? I say we should throw them all back outside. It's only right. I threw away my friend's entire pet beetle collection. They have been purged. This is all for the new order. But I want to keep my rhino stagros. No. That the hell. We must accept that we all grow old. I can no longer perform the physical labor that allowed me to benefit society. I no longer deserve to live here. I must find a place far from others. There, I will await a quiet death. This isn't someone accepting that they'll grow old. This is him refusing to grow old. If this spreads, we'll have no more old people at all. It was the height of foolishness for a low-born person like me to hold on to romantic fantasies about Prince Percival. I should seek a male companion suitable to my social status, and live a life free of pointless desire and pride. 
Form, beauty, appearance, all are superfluous. Reason dictates that I seek a biological partner who lets me live my life with greater efficiency. While what she's saying isn't technically wrong, it really, really creeps me out. <laughs> Damn. The lag in this city is always crazy. Even the capital is silent as death. Inominat's power did all of this. A god among gods. Hmm. Can we go rescue uh, Lord Percival? Fountains are purely decorative and serve no purpose to the collective good of mankind. They must be purged. Not just the fountains. The streets and houses are filled with unnecessary extravagances. Comfort is another word for vanity. It is a lie that breeds only envy and war. All vanity must be purged. Yes. We cannot let ourselves be ruled by desire. We must control ourselves and lead lives of purity. If they keep abandoning desire after desire, eventually they'll abandon even their desire to live. Hmm. Well, what's happening here? I knew it. I said all along that taverns are dens of evil. Now there is no one left who desires that demon drink. It clouds man's judgment and causes good people to fall into corruption and sin. It should never have existed. Taverns shall now only live on in history books. I've always opposed the sale of nectar and intoxicating drinks. From now on, those places once known as taverns should be used to distribute food equally to all. Flavor is irrelevant. It is enough for food to fill the stomach and contain the nutrients necessary for survival. Food is not something that should be enjoyed. But eating is part of being alive. If you can't enjoy your food, how can you enjoy your life? I don't want to live like that. So where should we go? Okay. I was kind of hoping they'd have a... This little uh, speed thing here, but... Maybe not. Isn't there anyone here who still has free thought? I hope so. There has to be. <gasps> Mommy! That was a child. Don't show any feelings, dear. If they spot you, they'll... Prince Percival! Tabitha! You're still you! Ah. Weakness, Demons? nothing. In the capital? No. They're molecules. <laughs> It's over. Tabitha, your mind's still your own? Yes, somehow. But Prince Percival and that girl. Looks like those Malakim took them away somewhere. The prince was trying to help us get away. He said that the Abbey was gathering those who still had control of their own will at the villa. We need to go after the Prince, and see just what's going on at the villa. We don't know what sort of defenses they have at the front gate. Let's sneak in through the back. Good plan. Back into the catacombs, then. You got it. Oh, 
let's see then back to the catacombs that means I might be able to go and get that rare spawn that I missed which would be over this way oh the lag here want to keep going all right so I'm gonna end it here remember to like comment subscribe this is Tachi signing off have a good day